Hello, welcome to the sports segment with me, Ori Kuwampo, for the A360 Tour. It's the first of its kind, and it's a tournament and the first uh, for ranking of kids from the age 3 to 12. Now, ahead of the tournament, I've been speaking to some of the young participants who are really looking forward to the event. So, welcome, guys. Uh, Nairam, how are you doing today? Good. You're doing good? Yes, I am. Okay, and Janelle, how are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Ah, fantastic. Andy, how are you doing as well? Fine. Okay, great, great, great. So we're going to be talking about some tennis today, right? And we'll be starting off with your interest. How come you started playing tennis? Let me start with you, Naira. I started playing tennis when I was three years old. And when I was in the house, Rafael Nadal was playing against Dominic T. And in the Roland Garros, that's when I fell in love with playing tennis. Janelle, how did you get into tennis? So, first, my dad was teaching me how to play tennis when at the age of two. And as I was growing and growing, I got more interested in playing tennis. And then I started playing with a coach called Coach Na in July. Okay. Interesting. Andy, how about you? What's your tennis story like? Mm, I was playing tennis because my dad plays it. And he was teaching me how to play tennis. He bought me a USA Open tennis racket when I was three. And then he hung a ball on the ceiling and then I was practicing playing tennis. Mm. That's interesting. I, I love how all of you, you know, go into tennis. Uh, all of you have role models in tennis, right? Yes. Great, good, good. Let me start with you, Nairam. Uh, who's your role model and who do you look up to? I have two role models. My first role model is Rafa Nadal. I like him because he plays with a lot of power and passion. And I like Rodra Fedra because he has a lot of technique when he's hitting a ball. Interesting. And uh, what about you, Janelle? Okay, so I look up to Serena Williams because she also tries her best to get the ball. She tries her best to get the ball and um, I, I like her because she's always trying her best to to get the ball and she, she's using all her courage and, all, and she's disciplined too. Interesting. Andy, what about you? My role model is Novak Djokovic, mm. and I like him because he has won 19 Grand Slams. Yeah, uh, now he's actually made it 20. Do you think he's the he's the greatest of all time? Mm, yes, you, mm. he's the world number one. He's the world number one. Yeah. Well, do, do you agree with him? Do you think Djokovic is the greatest of all time? Mm. Or you think or you think Nadal? I think all are the greatest. All are the greatest. What about you? Uh, I I think I think. Um, Jokobi is not really good because he's smashing his racket every time when, when he's angry. <laughs> you think that's not good? <laughs> but even though you, you, you don't miss, you, you just have to try and see what you can do better. You just have to be trained not to smash your racket in the middle of a game. <laughs> yeah. well, what, do you, what do you think about that, Andy? He says that Djokovic keeps on smashing his racket. Uh, do you think it's something he can improve on? Mm. When he smashes the rocket, he just gets a new one. But when he finishes it, it's all for him. Uh, okay, okay. So guys, I know you are young and you go to school and you play tennis. Uh, how is it like, you know, balancing schoolwork with tennis too? How, how, how does it feel like? It is hard and difficult because I, I do classes to five times each day and also I go on court on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays so the days I have to go to school when I'm doing classes it's hard for me to balance it. And what about okay you? so I think it's easy for me because because doing school work school work may be difficult and and playing tennis may be hard and difficult as well and tiring, but it's still easy for me. Hmm. Interesting. We've had one who says, uh, you know, Nairam says it's difficult. Janelle says it's easy. Where do you fall? Mm, mine is just normal for me because I just play some tennis regularly. And sometimes I even go 
on Sundays with my dad and play tennis. So, so there's a there's a big big tournament coming up uh, for kids, uh, the ASD60 tournament. All of you, all of you are going to be part. So I want to hear your thoughts, preparation, and what your expectations are. Janelle, how prepared are you, and are you confident you are going to win? Yes. Ye yes, yes. To which one? How how confident are you? Are you prepared? E I'm very prepared and also I'm wishing to be the first. Is, is this your first about tennis tournament? Yeah, it is my first mm. ever so, tournament. So, so are, you, are you a bit scared? I'm not a bit scared because I have a lot of time to practice my tennis. So the day we have the tournament. Okay. Uh, Andy, I heard you saying this is your second tournament. Uh, how did the first one go? The first one went well. And uh, this time, are you, are you hoping to finish first? How is preparation going for you? The preparation is going well, and I think I'm going to win the tournament. You think you're going to win the tournament? That's good, that's good. I'll come back and check once the tournament is over. Uh, but Naira, let me come to you. Both of them are very, very prepared, and they all think they're going to win. What about you? How confident are you? I am very confident, and I've also played a tournament too. Which, which tournament was that? It was in the clay courts on Christmas, this Christmas day, I was four years old playing tennis. And I'm confident I'm going to win my second tennis tournament. I'm prepared. Between, between the clay courts and the hard court, which one do you prefer? I prefer both. You prefer both? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk about your training sessions. Uh, what's a normal workout day like for you? What, what are some of the drills that you do? Sometimes on drills, I go for a walk. I jog around the house. I take my dog out for a run. And then sometimes I just do push-ups up to 15 to 60. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Andy said sometimes he goes for walks, he jogs around and he does push-ups. Uh, what, what are some of the things that you do for training and workout? Well, every time I come to training, it's the same thing. I jog around the court, then I do some physical training, then I hit some balls, then I play a fun game, then I go home. Interesting. Uh, Janelle, what about you? So, yeah. I'll just come and then I have to run around the court five or more times and then jog on the ladder, skip over the step, and then and then I'll start with what I actually do. So there are lots of fix, physical things that we, we all have to do. Yeah, it's true. And also my dad plays tennis. He helps me whenever we go to our second house. Okay, okay.